Now, Prefer Singh, His Excellency Yeso Ezewawike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Seven Star of River State, Life Venture. In his entourage is the Right Honorable Chibudom Muje Oepar, His Majesty Oha Sergeant Chidi Awuse, DSSRS, Right Honorable Prince Chibudom Muje Oepar, Distinguished Senator Barry Piggy, Honorable Engineer Chukwem Kawoke, FNSE, Chief Ferdinand La Barbara, DSSRS, Chief Dan Orby, DSSRS, Distinguished Senator Dr. Sandy Ono, Professor Henry Ogiri, Dr. Samson Parker, Chief Orwell Oyeso, Honorable Frank Ho, Honorable Igo Aguma. The national anthem. to take the opening prayer, Reverend Dr. P.S.C. Aloy. Our Heavenly Father, He that was and is and that is to come, we have gathered here at LLA Civic Center for the flag off of the tenor roads that have been designed by His Excellency, Honorable Dr. Barisa Yesom Wike, C.O.N. Father, we are lifting this ceremony to your throne of grace and mercy this hour. For we know that whatever that is committed into thy hands has received supernatural eternal security forever in Jesus' name. Bless His Excellency Bless his family, bless his cabinet, bless his entourage, bless the states, bless the people of River State, bless the entire people who are here present to observe this flag off of internal road construction projects by His Excellency. Favor, mercy, grace. His Excellency, Homa Boyihu, Aboyihu, Amanema, Manesi Noroi. Jesus, which is here, now Jesus. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. Your Excellency, yes, as the one we came, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Seven Star of River State, Life Bencher, Governor of River State. Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Apaliboha Rebanigo, DSSRS. Deputy Governor of River State, the Right Honorable Queen Owaji Bani, DSSR as Speaker of River State House of Assembly, Chief Dan Obey, DSSR as Vice Chairman South South Zone of the People's Democratic Party, running mate to the PDP Standard Bearer in River State, the Chairman Elders Council of the People's Democratic Party in River State, Chairman PDP River State. Distinguished Senators, members of the National and State Assembly, members of the State Executive Council, 
Your Majesties and Royal Highnesses, Elder Statesmen, Special Advisors, Chairmen of Local Government Councils here present, Permanent Secretaries, Gentlemen of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the flag off of construction of Finley Lane Townhall Roads in Equerry Local Government Area to be constructed by the Government of River State. Your Excellencies, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, may I at this point respectfully invite for the presentation of Kulanot, His Royal Majesty, King Marcos O. Woyeke, Inweli Elele. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite to give the welcome remarks the Chairman of the Local Government Area, Honorable Samuel Wanosike. His Excellency, our leader, the Executive Governor of River State, the Grand Service Star of the Rivers People, Power of Sports of Africa, Mr. Quality Project, Live Bencher. His Excellency, I plead you permit me to speak on standing on the established protocol by the MC. His Excellency, I just want to remind you and our leaders who are accompanying you here that this venue is symbolic to we, equal local government, 60 speaking ethnic nationality. Because it was on this ground sometime in 2013 that the Kwele people called you as a serving minister for education to come and answer the call to wipe away the tears and the shame of the Kwele people. And you came to this ground and you answered the call that no matter what it takes, you would defend the people of River State. This ground is special to us and we will never forget this ground. And let me also inform the entire world that every promise you made to Equator people and Rivers people, you have kept all of them and you have surpassed all the promises you have made. You have done things we never even asked you of because you wear the same shoes we wear and you know where he pinches and pains us. 
His Excellency, we are happy to come as Ifuera people during your time as our leader. And wherever you go, we will go with you. Whatever you bless, we will bless. Whatever you hold, we will hold. Whoever you stand for, we will stand with. Thank you for coming, and may God Almighty bless you. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to thrill us with their dance steps, may I invite the Elele Women Group. Yeah. together for the LLA Women Group and the Dance House. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite to entertain us your cherry wrestling group. Uh, 
Ikuwa mmekeo. Yale. Ikuwa mmekeo. Yale. Na jina mmekeo. Eh, wasali. Eh. Eh. Na umena alizeme. Umena alizeme. Umena alizeme. Umena alizeme. Yo son gele. Hidi kona buja ku. 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 Hami kore kwa bule. Hidi kona buja ku. Hidi kona buja ku. Yo son gele. Excellency, Deputy Governor of Real Estate, 
the Speaker, River State House of Assembly, and the incoming Governor, Sir Sinai Kura, and his Deputy, Mr. Nibosi Osu, traditional rulers and elders of our party and the state here present, distinguished Senator Farinada Ekidi, Excellency. May I kindly liberate protocols already properly established by the compare. Excellency, we are here today in Elele Civic Center for the flag off of the Elele Internal Road project. Excellency, this project was awarded in October and the constructor was mobilized specifically on the 28th of October 2022. The contractor moved into site immediately and work has commenced. The scope of the project is 9 kilometers of asphaltic concrete road and 6 kilometers of drains. 6 kilometers of drains because it's a build up area and there were existing um, road, uh, drains that uh, needed to be made good and then uh, the invert levels properly established. So we're going to have about 12 kilometers of drains that we're going to be making good and 6 kilometers of drains that will be freshly constructed alongside the 9.026 kilometers of road. Your Excellency, as you can see, the contractor is already on site and um, asphaltic concrete work is already going on in two roads, in the Dingpa Avenue and this Civic Center Road. Another roads we have drainage works going on, we have excavation works going on, we have earth works going on and in some area stone-based work is going on. Your Excellency, with the pace at which the contractor is going, at, although it has four more months to complete this project, we are optimistic that by April we will be here for the commissioning of this project. Once again, welcome to Elele and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give a remark on behalf of the contractor, OK Sokari, Nigeria Limited, may I invite engineer Obelema Sokari. to adjust it. Your Excellency, Executive Governor of River State, My Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, if I may be permitted to carry on with the established protocol, I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, you're all welcome to this airport-making ceremony of the flag off of the internal roads of Elili. Your Excellency, as you know, Elele is an agrarian society. Their basic work here is farming. And you deemed it wise to come up with such a project. By the time we're done with internal roads, they would have access to the open markets from the hinterlands. Just as the Commissioner has said, Your Excellency, we assure you, with the peace and the commitment and the support from the Ministry and your administration, we're going to see this project to its logical conclusion within the time frame or even before. I thank you very much for finding OK Sukarai Nigeria Limited, uh, for giving us the opportunity to always be part of your developmental strides of our great state. Thank you very much. We keep a walk away, me, a cool day, Yes, we keep a walk away, me, a cool day, oh man. Walk away, me. It's a protest, walk away, me, a cool day, oh man. Yeah. Yes, we keep a walk away, me, a Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point respectfully invite to give his address the conscience of society, the governor of River State, His Excellency Nyesum, as the one we came, commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service of River State Life Venture. <laughs> Your 
Excellency, the Deputy Governor, the Right, the Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the Distinguished Senator representing the River Southeast, Senator Dr. Barinada Mpigi, the Zona Chairman of our party, Shildan Obi, the Chairman of our party in the state, Ambassador Desmond Akawo, the Chairman of Elders Council, Chief Ferdinand Anabraba, former Deputy Speaker House of Representatives, the Chairman of River State Traditional Rulers Council, and members of the Council, and other rulers who are here, the Chairman of Obi Abolo Government Council, and members of the Council, our dear Deputy Governorship Candidate representing the Governorship Candidate, and all other candidates of our party, and the other candidates of other parties that are here, members of the State Executive Council, our dear beautiful women, and our dear youth, equating to an maker, equating to an maker, an maker, an maker, and then we'll say, Omen Awa, Omen Awa, Let me thank the chairman of the Pueblo Government Council and his team who have mobilized all our people to be in LLA today for the flag off of the LLA internal routes. Just like the chairman said in 2014 when I came here to seek for your support. I know you gave me a word that whatever it takes, you are going to support us. And you supported us. I'm sure you may have been wondering all this why he has gone to Egruta, he has gone to Omarelu, he has gone to Omagwa, he has gone to Alu, he has gone to Isopo, Osama Mipo, and Omadebe. What is with the problem in Elele? Normally in life, the best takes the last. The chairman of council has hinted me, but look, because of the importance of Elele and what Elele stands for in the Korean ethnic nationality, we have agreed to extend this internal rules to all other rules we have. And so, the contractor we have tried to support our own contractors, indigenous contractors, to see how we can enable them to have the capacity. I'm happy to announce to all of you, our contractors are doing well. None of them is showing negligence. All of them, Monia Construction Company, OKI Sikariari, Okmas, Lubrix, name them. They are all showing the capacity that requires to show that they can do work. And I want to assure all of you, no one of these projects will be abandoned. All these projects here will be finished before I go. My successor is not going to be the one that will commission it. I will commission I go. When he comes, he will do his own and commission. Not so. So, and let us this opportunity to let me tell you. Let me use opportunity and tell you. People should understand. Give us this sound very strong. 
in whatever anybody may talk about as far as this country is uh, concerned. I have told people River State is not a dumping ground and will never be a dumping ground. If we give you support, we believe you will reciprocate and also give River State uh, support. Because, as I came, the uh, militia sang, he said, Ime ni mbe ni no waniyabu ngweta. So, nobody should threaten us. Nobody should threaten River State. No political party can threaten River State. Not one. So that all those who are opening their mouth in Abuja to threaten River State, think twice before you have a problem. Think twice before you have a... Why will you threaten River State in the first place? Why will you threaten River State in the first place? Which state, as far as PDP is concerned in Nigeria from 1999, now has contributed to PDP more than River State? I challenge any state, be it Adamawa, be it Delta, be it Sokoto, be it Benue, which of these states have contributed to PDP more than River State? Name is it Edo? Which state? River State has been the bedrock of this party since 1998. In 1999, when an election was conducted, we gave the vote. All through that time, Dr. Peter Lee was governor. We have given the highest vote, and we have given the higher logistics to PDP. Let anybody challenge us. You don't come and threaten us. We have given to you. Have you given us? All these states now that are running around. All these small boys. I don't know the name of their states though. Opening their mouth to talk to River State today. If there was no River State, there was no PDP. Let all of them challenge us. And then you sit down where I don't know where you come from and open your mouth because some people provided their media outfit for you to talk. We don't blame you. That's what the press has turned themselves to be. We supported PDP 1999. Down to 2015. Even at our time, we lost that election. The US has gave the highest vote, 1.5 million votes. In 2015, all true. Even to 2019. How many of the PDP states? that President Buhari did not get 25%. All these ones who are talking now, they are PDP. We made sure APC never got 25% in this state. In spite of the military presence, our people stood firm. All these states now, talking, talking. The, 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 the APC was getting 45%. 35%, but we stood firm because we never had, we never went for negotiation. Most of the said they went for negotiation. I saw this would be the last time they would open their mouth and talk about River State. Tell them to shut their mouth up. Tell them to shut their mouth up. When River State is talking, you don't talk. When River State is talking, you don't uh, talk. There are states and there are states. There are states with capital letter S and there are states with small letter S. We can't don't mind them. Don't mind them. 
So you must know where you belong to. We labeled for PDP. If anybody is to get angry, it's the different state that's supposed to get angry. After all my efforts, what did we get in return? Can you mention one thing from 1999 to 2015? Mention one. And you are threatening us. Where do you come from? To threaten River State. Where do you come from? So nobody should worry himself. Be strong. We will overcome them. Be strong. We will uh, overcome. We have done it before. We will do it uh, again. Our tenure is coming to an end. We have not stopped watching because we told you until May 29th we will continue to work to the satisfaction of our people. And that is what governance is all about. You must shine your eyes and be careful. I saw Elder, my friend, here. Yeah. It's the best DP. I asked him, Edda, where do I campaign them? He said I should campaign for him. I said, I will go campaign for Edda. But you know, Edda is my friend, but he entered the own party. <laughs> that is, so I told you two of us will talk later, but this one had me. <laughs> Frankly speaking, he put a lot of pressure on me on this internal uh, roads. But, my brother, <laughs> so, so, me and him will go to the house and sit down the way we sit and see how we can rectify. But he hooked me for next. You know, so, I have told you why you should support our governorship candidate, our senatorial candidate, our assembly candidate, and all our so that we can continue consolidation. You can imagine where I will stop. And then we have our own successor from our party. Then give River State in the last four years what will happen. Isn't that true? If we can do this now, I don't know how many of you come to Portugal every day. Most of you may not know Portugal again, is it not? Is it not? That is what it's supposed to be. Now, if you give our candidates, don't allow these other people, bogey, bogey people. No, she. No, she, no, man. You did promise you will not fulfill your promise. We make promise to fulfill promise. That is leadership. So I want to appeal to all of you. The day that you have come out like this, make sure the election day to come out like this. All our votes put it in one basket. This election will let people know that River State is important. This election will let people know that it is important. But my honey will not have the uh, important. And so at the appropriate time, I can handle. This is where we are going to. No amount of blood may can solve it. Do the right thing. If you don't do the right thing, fa 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 fa. I want to want this uh, opportunity to let us know in the Niger Delta. Why every time we are shouting, they are exploiting us, exploiting us. Who is exploiting who? Who is underdeveloping who? 
since our leaders struggle for the increment of the derivation to 13 percent, since NDDC was established, particularly NDDC, look at the money that has gone into NDDC. What can we show? For it. NDC has become a cash cow for politicians. The, the, the president has just inaugurated the new board of the NDC. You know what's going on now? There are 500 billion naira budget for NDC. 500 billion naira for NDC. Now, election is coming from 25th of February. Now, what the politicians have done is to put pressure now on the National Assembly so they pass the 500 billion dollar budget for NDDC so that all of them have said, this one is your own. This one is your own. This one is your own. At the end of the day, you can't see the impact of 500 billion naira for Niger Delta. Who are those superintending the Niger Delta? Are they not our children? Are they not our children? Are they outsiders? What is the Minister of Niger Delta doing? No work. His role is to supervise NDDC. Go and see the budget of NDDC. What and what is there? How many states, if at all any state government, made an input into the budget of NDDC? NDDC sits like this from as if nobody talks to NDDC. You go to a state, you will not ask the state government, what are your priorities? What do you want NDC to do in your state? So the state can say, okay, we need this road from here to here. We need so-so and so-so. NDC does not know the, the demands or the needs of the states. NDC will just go to a state and begin to tear road. The road you are tearing is your own. Have you asked the owners, is it here you want road? What type of road? Is it a large road or single lane road? You go to a school. The school does not belong to you. You start building five classroom blocks. I had to go to court to challenge the NDC. And the court ruled that NDC has no power to go to a state to start constructing projects without the input of the state to destroy the master plan of states. Go to the NDC budget. You see 4 billion naira desilting. What is called desilting? They are cleaning gutters now. Is that the mandate of NDC to come and clean gutters and river state? They have agents. The Sultan, four billion naira. They are putting sixty billion for one of the security agencies. They say it's safe heaven or safe home. All this money is being earmarked to carry away. It's a shame to the people of Niger Delta. It's a shame that you superintend over the underdevelopment of our region and you come back to say we are being cheated you are cheating yourself you are cheating yourself the chairman of NDC they came to see me the other day and she said look when she came to Portacos she can't believe that this is Portacos that Portacos has turned to a different place and that she wants NDC 
to replicate this in the other states. I said, fine. I will use this budget to test you what you said. Whether you will sit with your management to allow this 500 billion to be siphoned to private pockets. I will use this one to test the chairman of MDDC, our sister, Onoche. You told me, you promised me that you will no longer do things the way they used to do to get different things. Our eyes are open. This 500 billion naira, our eyes are open. I've told our Attorney General to get prepared. I will go to court and challenge them. This one, I will expose them. Let them chop. Let them say and divide the This one, they put star 60 billion. The managing director and all of them, they want to share. The four billion is <laughs> This one, <laughs> you will choke on the hair. Do you know what I mean? That bone is hanging your hair. I don't understand how we cannot allow ourselves to grow. Things have been provided. You won't go and meet the governors of the states and say, states, nominate projects you think is of immediate need of your people. The states are not saying, give us the contract. No! Do this road from here to social place. Link up road from here to Bayasa. Link up Bayasa to Delta. Link up Delta to Edo. Regional projects. Or link up big bridges. Not doing one project for seven years. We are doing 12 flyovers. 12 flyovers in four years. 12. Where has it happened? Where has it happened? Because we believe that we owe you that duty to make sure our places are developed. Look at the lady. This is the major road to worry, is it not? That does not mean that you don't have people living inside the uh, lady. No. We must have to open the roads. As communities grow, so also development should be moving on. People are building in certain areas. You need to create a uh, road for them. And it is only our party in this state that has the capacity to develop all these areas. I don't quack. Happy Gimma, 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 So, all your leaders who are from here, they've done well by making sure projects come to a lady. Mark Elechi is here. I may not remember all your names. Ainda is here. Uh, my friend, Joseph, is, this, is it Joseph Amadi? Yes, Amadi is here. So many of them. I may not call all their names. But they know themselves. Those who have run away, let them continue to run. They say they are PDP. Their leg is there. Their leg is there. There's only one PDP in River State, too. Do you understand me? There's only one PDP in the... Uh, if anybody says there are two, let the person open his mouth and come and say it. Come and say it. He will tell me whether you are for River State. The mere fact you live in River State does not mean that you are for the... You know who is... Uh, who. So, I thank you. Be patient. Like I've said, I know the Aparamah Rula is late, he has not been buried. But please, if he was a first class traditional uh, ruler. If we should do, now that I'm office, let us bury the man. Do you understand? I will give you all support so that let us bury the man. So that government can recognize the next uh, person without delay.
Orange, orange. I'm I don't know why our people like to keep cops. I don't know why. We take joy in keeping a. Uh, I don't know why. One problem, this one, this one. Anybody who has died has a. Uh, even whatever you are doing now, the person doesn't know. So why not put our heads together? As a first class tradition, the government has a role to play. So let us do away with that and support and move uh, uh, forward and make out and make out. So please, those who are responsible, try and let us do this quickly and move on. That is how society, communities should develop. Let us be stagnated in one uh, place. So on this basis, let me invite our leaders to join us as a flag of these internal rules to the glory of God. And make out, and make out.
cho 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 In channels, televisions, live coverage of a flag of Elele internal roads construction in a Quarry local government area of River State. Do stay with us as we resume our lineup of regular programming. You've been watching a live channels television event. 